Hello, everyone. It's been a while since we've sat down and had a talk like this, and hopefully it'll be the last one for a long time. I've been thinking about a lot of things lately. My life, my work, my channel, my supporters, and more. I've thought about the highs I've achieved and the lows I've fallen to. I've thought about how playing games and making these videos has affected my life, for the worse and for the better. I've asked myself many times why I put myself through the hassle of making these videos. And every time I come up with two answers. One, because I love doing it. I love sharing the way I play games with everyone. And two, because I want to earn money from it and become famous. Of course, when I first started, the answer was much, much simpler. I did it for the love of Let's Play. But when money entered the game, things changed. I realized that I could earn a living doing something that I loved, something that I thought was my one lone marketable skill. And without realizing it, my perspective started to shift. At first, I largely made videos for the enjoyment of it, while earning money was a faint afterthought. But slowly, the balance changed. I began doing it because I loved it, and because I wanted to earn a living. And then it started to shift more. I wanted to earn money more than I wanted to do it for the fun. And the hobby I started seven years ago slowly became a job. One that I was beginning to fail at and wasn't enjoying. I've been seeking to try and become better known, more famous, but I haven't been able to realize that this is a pipe dream because I haven't been able to figure out what it is I need to do to strike it big. I fail to realize that there isn't a magic formula or a silver bullet that guarantees success. And because of that, I began to fail at Let's Play. I felt like I was letting all of you down, and myself as well. I've been spun into depression and creative blocks thanks to it. I've suffered and cried and... Not to, be, not to be too emo about it, I've fallen into dark places that I didn't think I could climb out of. But then, I had a moment of clarity. I realized that I hadn't failed, and that by pushing myself to try and keep putting out content to satisfy everyone, that I wasn't letting anyone down. I was continuing to work, I was doing what I always wanted to do. I kept pushing myself so hard to succeed and hit the big time that I wasn't slowing down to see the successes I had achieved. I have 2,000 wonderful, amazing supporters that have been with me for years. I was happy when I had my first 50 subscribers, my first 10, the first one. I always told myself in the beginning that if I could make these videos, if I could show the world that this is how I play games, and this is how I have fun, and one person, just one person liked it, then I'd be happy. And I am. Whether I have 2,000 fans, 2 million fans, or just two, I'll be happy. I'll know that I made my mark on this world that here in the pages of history stood Alexander Frost, and this is how he made people smile. I've come to understand and accept my place in the YouTube cosmos. I'm not a big-time entertainer, and that's okay with me. If someday I get more popular, well, I'll be flattered. But I'll be just as happy as I am now, just as I was seven years ago. But with this understanding, comes a sour note, I'm afraid. Part of why I was pushing myself so hard was because I was taking on projects that, while ambitious, were ultimately too much for me to handle. I just never realized it until it was far too late. Gauntlet Dark Legacy comes to mind for those of you who remember that far back. It was a great project, and I enjoyed it. But... Ultimately, it was too much for me, and I ended up dragging my heels because I stopped enjoying it. I began to dread recording it and put it on hold over and over until finally I realized that I had to stop, or I'd never move on. And sadly, 
The project that's currently on my plate is doing much the same thing. For three years, I've been working on Sengoku Boss at a time and again. I've hit stumbling blocks, self-imposed deadlines that I fail to meet, burnout, heavy bouts of depression. Don't get me wrong. When I played it for the channel, I enjoyed it. But getting between those bouts of depression, trying to go from episode to episode, working on it when I needed to, trying to push myself to that point where I could play it. And I've tried to put the project on hold, or put it on the back burner so I could work on something else to try and get my creative juices flowing. But every time, a little voice would pop up and say, you haven't finished this one yet. How can you expect to finish anything else if you can't do this first? And the new project would suffer, or sometimes never even start. So, with a heavy heart, I must regretfully announce that Sengoku Basada, Samurai Heroes, is hereby cancelled. I know a lot of you are upset with me, and you may even be reaching for the unsubscribe button, or are furiously typing up a comment down below, or may have even already clicked the back button and ignoring everything I'm saying. I understand your frustration, I understand your anger, and your disappointment. You've put just as much time into watching these videos and waiting for them as I have making them. If you want to leave a scathing remark or leave my channel forever, then I understand. And I hold no begrudgment against you for it. I just hope that you understand that I do this for my sake and for the sake of future projects on this channel and that I didn't come to this decision lightly or easily. I have enjoyed working on Sengoku Basada, and I dearly wanted to finish it. But I have to let it go. I just have to. For those of you who are concerned with another long-running series I'm working on, Valkyria Chronicles, let me assure you that you have nothing to worry about. I will not cancel it. On that, you have my solemn vow and my word of honor as a man. There are two things that are separating Sengoku Basada from Valkyria Chronicles. The first one is that in Sengoku Basada, I'm barely a quarter of the way through the Let's Play. I barely started the Blue Path run, with the entirety of the Blue Path run, the Green Path, and the Purple Path yet to go. In Valkyria Chronicles, I'm at the three quarters mark. I'm almost done with the game. I'm on the downhill slide. The second thing is, in Sengoku Basada, I've already finished everything there is to do. I've played every level. I've unlocked all the characters, found all their weapons. I've done everything. Valkyria Chronicles, I don't know what's coming. Every video that you're going to see in the near future is going to be gameplay that I have not seen yet. I don't know how the game ends, but we're gonna find out together. So my friends, with this weight lifted from my shoulders, I feel I can begin making content again, happy and guilt-free. I can work knowing that it doesn't matter how many people like my videos as long as I'm happy with them. This is my world, and I'm pleased to share it with you, laughing and crying and stumbling and cringing all the way. It's a new day, everyone. Filled with new opportunities, new games, new ideas, and new memories to make. Let's make them together, shall we?